Starting from Hangzhou, you can reach Zhoushan in just over an hour. The world's longest undersea high-speed rail tunnel will be born. Recently, the shafts and inclined shafts of the Jintang Undersea Tunnel of the Yongzhou Zhou High-Speed Railway, the world's longest undersea high-speed rail tunnel, were officially enclosed and excavated, marking that the tunnel has entered the physical construction stage. It is expected that the Ningbo Zhou High-Speed Railway will be completed and open to traffic by the end of 2028. If the train operation is calculated according to the direct mode of major stations, it takes 26 minutes to travel from Ningbo, Zhujiang, China to Zhoushan. Compared with the current time of self-driving, it can be shortened by about one hour. In the future, it will take more than an hour to take the high-speed rail from Hangzhou to Zhoushan. Currently, the self-driving trip from Hangzhou to Zhoushan takes about three and a half hours, which can save more than two hours. In this video, let us learn more about the world's longest undersea high-speed rail tunnel. Zhujiang, on the coast of the East China Sea, does not have mountains or rivers, but it is surrounded by the vast East China Sea. There are many islands here and the coast is winding. Most of the world-class transportation projects that have been built in Zhujiang are facing the sea, such as Hangzhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge, Zhoushan Island Linking Project, Zhodai Bridge, Yuqing Bay Bridge, Yushan Bridge. These major transportation projects have transformed natural chasms into thoroughfares, turned isolated islands into peninsulas, and given full life to Zhujiang's zigzag coasts, bays, and dotted islands and reefs. This time is no exception. The Ningbo Zhou Railway under construction crosses the Jintang Waterway and many other sea areas that separate the Zhoushan Islands. From the mainland, allowing high-speed trains to reach Zhoushan, the last district city in the Yangtze River Delta without railways. The Ningbo Zhou Railway has a total length of 76.4 kilometers and a design speed of 250 kilometers per hour. Although the line is less than 100 kilometers, it will have two of the world's best, one tunnel and one bridge. Tunnel 1 refers to the Jintang Undersea Tunnel with a total length of 16.18 kilometers, which is 10 kilometers longer than the tunnel of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge and is the longest undersea high speed rail tunnel in the world. The Jintang Undersea Tunnel has a total length of 16.18 kilometers, adopts a single hole double line structure, and has a design driving speed of 250 km per hour. In terms of length alone, the Jintang Undersea High Speed Railway Tunnel is second only to the 37.9 km Anglo-French Undersea Tunnel and the 23.3 km Saiken Undersea Railway Tunnel in Japan in the railway field. However, although Eurostar High Speed Trains are operated in the Channel Tunnel, Due to its early construction and low design standards, the maximum driving speed in the tunnel is only 140 km per hour, which does not meet high-speed rail standards. The Shantou 2 Shantou Tail High-Speed Railway The Shantou Bay High-Speed Railway Undersea Tunnel and the guangzhou Zhangjiang High-Speed Railway Zhangjiang Bay Undersea Tunnel under construction in China are standard high-speed railways with a design speed of 350 km per hour, but their lengths are all within 10 km. One bridge is the Zihuman Highway Railway Bridge with a main span of 1,488 meters. It is a joint road railway bridge for the Yongzhou Zhou Railway and the double line of the Yongzhou Zhou Expressway across the Zihuman Waterway. After completion, it will be the world's longest span highway rail bridge, which will increase the span capacity of my country's railway bridges from 1,000 meters to 1,500 meters. 
How will the 16.18 kilometer long Jintang undersea tunnel become the longest in the world? A relevant person from the China Railway 11th Bureau responsible for the construction of the Jintang side of the tunnel said that the tunnel will be excavated using a drill and blast method similar to mine tunnel excavation and a large shield machine. Among them, the shield tunnel is 11.2 kilometers long, mainly concentrated in the seabed part of the Jintang waterway. Two shield machines with a diameter of 14.57 meters are used to start from Ningbo and Joshan respectively and tunnel in opposite directions to connect in the sea. It is worth mentioning that when two shield machines are docked in the sea, the accuracy error is required to not exceed 20 millimeters. It is planned that after the first shield machine reaches the design docking position, the other one will adjust the excavation attitude through the guidance measurement system of the shield machine to ensure accurate docking. It is understood that on the Jintang side, the shield machine will pass through various strata such as hard rock, silt, clay, etc., which requires the shield machine to handle complex strata. It is necessary not only to ensure the ability to break rocks quickly, but also to ensure that the cutter head does not get stuck or the tunnel floats when excavation in soft soil. The Ningbo side shield machine mainly penetrates rock formations. But it is not easy, because the rock strength along the entire line is the highest at 185 MPA, the maximum burial depth is 85 meters, and the maximum water pressure is 0.85 MPA, which means the water pressure per square centimeter reaches 8.5 kilograms. There are strict requirements on the main drive seal and shield tail seal of the shield machine during long-distance excavation in tunnel construction. Therefore, the adaptive design of the shield machine is the key to the project, and it must have special functions such as multiple seals, tool wear detection, and advanced detection. It can effectively handle high strength, high water pressure, and high-risk composite stratum construction. Relevant people said that with such a shield machine, no matter how long the submarine high-speed rail tunnel is, it can be overcome. Interestingly, Ma ing Ju and his party, who recently visited the mainland, visited Changsha Railway Construction Heavy Industry. This is the world's largest manufacturer of underground engineering construction machinery. The large-scale shield machines and excavators produced are mainly used in the construction of large-scale, underground projects such as tunnels and subways. Ma Ingju's trip to the mainland has attracted the attention of media from both sides of the Taiwan Strait and the world. Some Taiwanese media reported that the visit to the domestic shield machine was to tell the world that we have the ability to build the Taiwan Strait High Speed Railway. Taiwanese media also drew pictures and announced the conceptual plan for the northern, central and southern high speed rail lines to cross the Taiwan Strait. It is reported that the entire planned construction period of the Ningbo Zhou High Speed Railway is six years, including 36 months of shield excavation of the undersea tunnel. At present, the Jintang side working shaft and inclined shaft have entered the formal construction stage, and it is planned to have the conditions for shield machine downhole assembly by the end of 2023. The shield excavation construction of the undersea tunnel can be officially started next year, taking a solid step towards the successful completion of the key project of the Ningbo Zhou Railway. Some people question, during the construction of the Joshan Island linking project of the Ningbo Zhou Expressway, the Jintang Cross Sea Bridge was already built. Why did this high-speed rail not build a bridge over the sea, but built an undersea tunnel? For a long time, bridges have generally had the upper hand in the battle over bridges and tunnels. On the one hand, the construction cost of bridges is much cheaper than that of tunnels. 
At the same time, bridges are visible projects, while tunnels are hidden in mountains, underground, and underwater. They are hidden projects and are somewhat invisible and intangible. Moreover, in daily maintenance and operation, tunnels require a lot of ventilation and lighting expenditures, while bridges require much less expenditures in this regard. Therefore, from an economic perspective, bridges that cost less and are more effective are the first choice of local governments. Bridges in many places have become landmark achievements in regional development. However, the biggest reason why the Ningbo Zhou High Speed Rail construction chose to spend more money to dig the Jintang Undersea Tunnel is to reduce the impact on the development of the port. Beiluan Port, the core port area where Ningbo Joshan Port, the world's first seaport, started, is located on the opposite coast of Jintang Island. At the same time, Jintang Waterway is the main channel for entry and exit of Ningbo Joshan Port and the Yangjiangku Jinhai Port area, one of the domestic hazardous chemical terminal concentration areas. Tens of thousands of transport ships of various types pass through here every year. The Depuku Container Project in Jintang Port area on Jintang Island is the beginning of the integration of Ningbo and Joshan ports. The bridge has a greater impact on shipping due to the restriction of navigation clearance under the bridge. In fact, during the construction of the Jintang Cross Sea Bridge of the Yongzhou Expressway, in order to reduce the impact on shipping, it was chosen to enter the sea from Zhenhai in the north of the Yongjiang River estuary. It also crosses the Grey Turtle Ocean and connects to Jintang Island via a detour, which is far away and has a 50,000-ton main navigation hole. The Jintang Undersea Tunnel passes directly through the narrow part of the Jintang Waterway and enters the sea directly from Beiluan south of the Yongjiang River estuary. Above is the busy main shipping channel and is close to the Beiluan port area. However, because it is an undersea tunnel, it will not affect the free entry and exit of ships over 100,000 tons. Therefore, the Jintang Submarine High Speed Rail Tunnel is the first in the world to pass through the world's largest seaport. Magnificent projects are always preparations for great development. In the first 10 years of the new millennium, Zhujiang built record-breaking and iconic transportation projects such as the Hangzhou Bay Cross Sea Bridge and the Zhoshan Cross Sea Bridge, boosting Zhujiang's rapid development. According to the conclusions of the Project Feasibility Study, the Ningbo Zhou Railway will mainly serve tourist passenger flow and intercity passenger flow in the Yangtze River Delta region. It is planned to open to Hangzhou, Shanghai, Nanjing, Tianjin, Beijing, Wuhan, Xi'an, Kunming, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, and other domestic cities. A cross city medium and long distance train. At the same time, in order to meet the needs of short-distance passenger travel along the line and better serve the urbanization and integration of Ningbo and Joshan, it is also planned to launch an intercity train between Ningbo and Joshan. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.